Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest, the Dwarf Cannon. You don't really need anything for this quest, but it's recommended that you have Camelot and Falador teleports. As well as maybe a potion, I think it's of strength. Because if you fail to fix the railing, your strength kind of goes down a little bit and then it becomes impossible for you to fix it. Especially if you're a low level and have low strength. Like level 3 for example. This starts right here. <clears throat> but it's going to take you all the way to the Dwarven Mine here and then back again. Which is why either you need the teleports or you're going to be in for a lot of walking. I've brought the teleports with me so I don't need to worry about that. But let's go in and speak with Captain Logoff. Sure, I'd be honored to join. So let's start all the way from here. You're going to be able to tell the good ones from the bad because the bad ones are slightly bent at the bottom. When done, go back to speak to the captain. So those towers that we passed on the way here, they are up in there. Just go underneath them and you'll see the ladder. Go up, up, up. Oh dear, take his remains. And go back to the captain. So now where we need to go is by the fishing guild. There's that little exclamation point. That's a cave and we need to go search around in there and find the dwarf child. He is in the north, furthest northwest corner that you can get to. So taking this middle passage right here should get you to where you need to go. So once you found him by searching all the crates, you speak to him. And now we go back to the captain. To get back out of the cave, you just climb the mud pile. Okay, I'll see what I can do. So let's inspect. Okay, so use your toolkit on it. Now we have to do this in order, it's not going to work. I'm going to attach the spring. Can I wind that back. I'm going to tighten that up. 
There we go. Okay then, just for you. So, the Ice Mountain Dwarven Mine right here, that's where we have to go, whether or not you have to run there or you can teleport. Uh, hopefully you have the magic level to teleport or have the teletabs, if not. Um, pause this video and return again when you're there. Okay, now it is Noeladoin that you speak to. Can I get another Alamode? Now I believe this is actually the person that will sell you the dwarf the, the, that will sell you the dwarf multi cannon. Although it's um just about one mil, so it's gonna be a little bit pricey. But I guess if you really want it, then it, it's kind of worth it. I took a few ammo molds because I like having bank saver spaces. So now that we're done, we need to go all the way back to here. So if you can teleport to Camelot, great. If not, um, well, I, I guess I'll see you over there because I kind of can. Sorry. So congratulations, you've completed the Dwarf Cannon Quest, you're awarded 1 quest point, 750 crafting XP, and you now have the ability to purchase and use the Dwarf Multi Cannons. Now for if you want to make your own um, stuff, you need the ammo molds, a furnace, and steel bars. One steel bar will make four cannonballs, so... Good luck with that if you want to. Um, the pieces for the cannon are roughly 200,000, 200k a piece, or three quarters of a mil, 750k for the whole thing if you buy it as a set. So there you go. Enjoy cannoning things. Probably digging off now that you can go back to doing that. And I will talk to you guys later for the next quest. So ciao for now.